the liquid nitrogen scene. Let's watch it. Tuck and roll. Good inertia. So my question here is, is there enough time and enough, enough liquid nitrogen to freeze the T-1000 all the way through? My hunch is no. My hunch is no. Uh, my hunch is no because I guess back when we were grad students and we had access mm -hmm. to liquid nitrogen for mm -hmm. instructional purposes, I would freeze all sorts of random shit. And so like you could go through, oh gosh, mm -hmm. maybe mm, half a liter, you know, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe... 300 milliliters to freeze one of these little snack size snicker bars mm -hmm. like it takes a lot of liquid nitrogen to cool something at room temperature and so this guy he's a robot but he's somehow like a liquid metal robot he, he's at least room temperature and so to cool down a human sized room temperature object yeah. like you need a lot of liquid nitrogen yeah i remember when i was messing around with liquid nitrogen i dropped an apple in liquid nitrogen and let it I just let it sit there for like 20 minutes and I wanted to like throw it on the ground and have a T-1000 everywhere. Definitely didn't it was still, get cold enough. It wasn't, yeah. it was not yet frozen. It was still like mushy in the yeah. inside. And it was like 20 minutes of immersed. This is immersion. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the T-1000 here is not immersed. It's just sort of splashing on him. That's right. And it's quickly evaporating mm -hmm. because it's in contact with lots of other stuff. So I, yep. I don't think anything but any surface freezing would be out of the question. I agree. Mm -hmm. Physically, yeah, it should just be a little bit that's on the outside that's frozen, if anything at all. Yeah, agreed. I tell you one time I got in trouble because because I was teaching a laboratory and I was playing with liquid nitrogen and I went into one of our other friend's laboratories and I like threw it at his back and he's like, oh my God. And then it just evaporated off, like whatever, mm -hmm. right? And then I got reported by one of the students, like dangerous chemical hazards. But I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. Yeah, I mean, probably... Important safety tip: Let's not encourage that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't do that. Liquid don't nitrogen, do that. super serious. We're, we're professionals. Oh, we're, we're physicists. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We know what we're doing. Hasta la vista, baby. <sighs> as soon as I saw this, I was like, "You got a frozen guy and mm -hmm. one large object. You break him up into little bits. Those little bits are going to mm -hmm. melt." And then he's, right. he's liquid. He like liquid. He assembles himself. Like this is such a short term solution. So I don't think it was a good idea to shoot the frozen T one thousand. I think you pick him up as a frozen entity. Get the Terminator to do it actually, just in case. That's right. That's and right. Have, throw him into the molten metal as a frozen piece. But yeah, that's that's the perfect strategy because mm -hmm. you have him stuck together as one large frozen object. He's not moving. He's not liquid. Yep. And now you can actually grab him and just throw him in. Throw him in. To, to then to, to hit him with the, the bullet and shatter his pieces everywhere. Well, you can't like, what do you get, like a big broom and sweep him up? No. Now you're just, <laughs> you're creating lots of surface area for him to warm up again. Oh, that's a good point. He actually, he will heat up faster as small pieces. Because mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. the small pieces have access to the heat. So I think this this was not an optimal engagement here. This was, a, this was kind of as worst as it could have been. In fact, this was the prime opportunity. This was the best opportunity to kill the T-1000. They get lucky later, but I think this was a better opportunity to actually get it done. Bummer. I mean, but that that is battle, right? You never know. Yeah, you never, you don't necessarily know like the right decision at the time. Right. And you're under time crunch and you're not necessarily thinking straight. It happens. I got this catchphrase. I'm, I want to use it. This is my chance. Hasta la vista, baby. That's right. <laughs> the line was more important than the tactics. <laughs> That's right. Amazing. I mean, the little puddles of mer mercury, little puddles of liquid metal are like, I need to get nearby my other puddles of liquid metal. Like, how much are the, what's the, where's the com computation going on in the liquid metal? Gosh, I mean, I, I guess that suggests it's everywhere because each yeah. individual little droplet knows, like, I need to reassemble. This is hey, very overpowered. 
Yes, super overpowered. Although I wonder what would have happened if Arnold had thrown the T-1000 into the liquid molten metal. And so most of it died. But like, remember, its foot broke off first and mm-hmm. like crumbled little bits. So maybe he grabs the, f- the he meaning the Arnold, mm-hmm. grabs the foot and throws it in. But like little bits survive. What happens to the T-1000 if only this little drop, maybe these two, maybe these two droplets survive? Like got these little little menacing droplets running around looking for John Connor with low That's cognitive right. ability, like harming things. That's right. It's a nightmare. Ooh, gosh, yeah, that's also scary. Like an uncoordinated little droplet assault. Yeah. And you're like, why are all these dead insects and spiders everywhere? What is going on? What oh, is yeah. going on? <laughs> yeah, like John for the rest of his life is constantly looking at the ground looking for droplets. Yeah. Oof. And they're just never Still dangerous. Anything. Yeah. Overpowered. Because it, yeah, the T-1000 has been blown up, shot at, exploded, fallen, and now it's been liquid nitrogened and shattered everywhere. And its computing power and strength is undiminished. Like, what the heck? Yep, not a problem. This thing's so terrifying. Yeah. I mean, relentless. How can you kill it? Gosh, and it dresses up as a cop. Ah, oh, terrifying. Yeah, terrifying. And he gives you the clockwork orange look. So you know. Terrifying. 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 No, thank you. Do not want. 